You know what? Screw how people usually do it. I'm gonna start with jQuery. jQuery menu slider tutorial kind of like on my website you should really check it out it kind of looks like this with this plus and minus also it's on this code emerald website you should really check that out too um, so you see it kind of slides down slides up slides down slides up you should also check out the SGA 2020 website because that also has one so boom slider boom so let's learn how to do that Okay, so after you've opened your code editor of choice, you're going to go into File, Open, and I'm just going to open the file that I'm going to be editing today, which is my website, but it doesn't have the JavaScript. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, or hover over the folder, we're going to right click it and hit New File. We're going to just hit Command S or Control S if you're on a Mac, and save it as menu.js. So, in jQuery, <clears throat> you always want to do everything, you, wanna, you always want to run your jQuery after you've loaded the document. So make sure that we do that, we're going to type in the money sign for jQuery, parentheses, and just type in document. And then, so that will select our HTML document, and we'll say dot ready, function, function. Or, uh, parentheses, uh, parentheses, yeah, and then curly brackets, and then we're gonna put a semicolon after that. So we have document dot ready. So when the document is ready, run everything inside of these parentheses. So it's saying run a function, and then make in the function's gonna do this. So inside here, we're gonna say what we want the function to do. So if we go ahead and look, if we go ahead and save, and we go to our desktop. Go to the desktop and we just open up the home page. There's a uh, home. Okay. If we do this, if we click on this, nothing happens. So we want to change that. So let's go ahead and go into the home and find out what the plus is. Plus is classes. Its class is open. So we're going to, inside of the function, we're going to say um, parentheses, uh, parentheses, money sign, parentheses, quotation marks, dot, open. So that will call the open class, dot, click, function, and then just like you saw before, like that. So it's saying if you have an element called open, and it is or uh, an element with the class of open, and you click it, run everything inside of here. So we're gonna go ahead and do money sign, parentheses, um, and we're gonna go back into the home and find out what the menu is called. So it is a div with the class of menu. So we're gonna say again dot menu print, uh, quotation marks dot menu to reference the class dot animate parentheses that oops um, like that so now we are going to animate the property we want but before we do that let's go into our style sheet and make sure that you have some styles ready for this so your menu should have the position of either fixed or absolute um, because you need it to be um, the absolute position so that you can animate it to the left of zero when you are animating it out if that makes sense just make sure that it's position absolute and you take the width of it and you start with the width of it so here's the width of the menu 275 pixels I made it negative and then that'll hide the entire thing just barely. So we're gonna say dot animate left uh, whoops left zero pixels. So now it's gonna put it exactly on the side of the page, like right here. Okay. 
Now, we have to define how fast we want this to run. So we'll put a comma right next to the close curly bracket, and then do how many milliseconds we want it to run, or slow, or fast. So I'm just going to say 200. Okay? So now, when we go and refresh the page, and we open, boom, we get that. Now, you'll see that this plus does not animate with it, and it doesn't change into a minus. So to fix that, we're going to go back into here. We're going to make sure that our dot open, let's find it, oh, there it is, dot open position is either fixed again or absolute, so that it will be, uh, it will have absolute positioning. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say, in jQuery we can call this. So we're still inside of the click function, but we're outside of this animate function. So we're going to call a this, so we're going to say this, and it will reference the parent. It'll say so dot open dot animate. Now, since we want it to go with the thing, we need to get the width of the thing. So, if that makes sense, um, we need to get the width of our menu, right? 275 pixels, and we're gonna add the width to how much it already has for the left positioning, right? So we'll say, what's 275 plus 30, that would be 305. So we'll say this.animate left 305 pixels. And again, same, same time so that it animates with it. And now if we refresh and we click it, it goes with it. But nothing, it still doesn't change into the minus and it doesn't close when I click it again. So that's what we will be doing right now. Now, this would work if we were doing, um, if we weren't changing it to a minus, but we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually call the dot close function, and we're just, before we do anything else, okay, we're going to say, uh, we're going to move this up here, actually. Or not dot, not, not the dot close function, sorry, the dot close, uh, the cl close class. So that is the minus. So before we do anything, we're going to move it up here. We're going to make this animation last zero frames, or zero milliseconds. And we're just going to move this to 30 pixels. Exactly where the menu, the open, is. And then we're going to again do this except with the dot open. And we're just going to animate this left to be negative 30 pixels. So now, when I click it, boom, it goes to the minus, and uh, the minus animates with it. So it'll instantly go to the minus, and then animate the minus. Okay, so now we're going to just copy this entire function. Let's get rid of this extra space here. We're going to copy this entire function, uh, the click function. We're just going to Copy it and paste it and then enter and paste it again. Uh, paste it again. Except we're going to change all of these dot opens to dot close. And then we're going to change all the dot close to dot open, but only in this function. And now, if we refresh our page and we do that, you'll see we get a bug. So, what's going on here? It is thinking that the animate is applying to go this way. So we want to set everything back to the default. So we will say um, the menu, we'll start out with that. We're going to say the menu back to where it was before, negative 275 pixels. We're going to put the open at 30 pixels. Um, and we're going to put this at 305 pixels because that's where it starts out and then this is where it animates to. So now, boom, we get it working and I'm sorry if I went too fast, this is my first coding tutorial, so if you need me to slow down, just leave a comment below and tell me that. And I will leave the code for this in a paste bin probably, so check the description for that link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a 2D kind of story.